you select the tool, convert knot, and click any of knot on this marker. Let's say click this one, double knot. And then you see this little circle and go to treatment, knot conversion. And let's go with this on selected notches. So selected notches is double knot. So I'm gonna make this double knot to V knot, for example, and click OK. And you see this changed to the V knot. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. Pad system, marker making today. There are 11 tools in the toolbox for marker making. And I explained four of them in episode 184. Pointer, magnifier, block of piece, and cut down two pieces. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box so you can watch it. And today, I'm going to take you through the rest. Seven tools in the toolbox. Let's start with magnetic cursor. This one, magnetic cursor. When you move the pattern pieces, of course, you can use this pointer tool, select and drag wherever you want. But for this magnetic cursor, you can just click anywhere you want, move this piece. So your piece is here. You don't have to drag from here to here. If you select this magnetic cursor, you just click this area and this piece will follow like this. This is very useful when you make like long marker. For example, this kind of production marker. So the marker is really long, right? And let's say you're missing one sleeve piece. So whenever you add piece, this new piece added at the end of the marker, you have to select this piece, drag all the way down to here. But sometimes it's too far away. So then you can select this piece and zoom in where you want to place this piece. And with magnetic cursor, you click and drag. You can have this here. Again, let's say you don't have this piece. It's still here, the listing area, but you want to have this piece in the beginning of a marker here, this area. Then you get this piece. It is added to work area, but you see it's at the end of the marker. Make sure this is selected and go back to where you want to place this piece. You select this tool, magnetic cursor, and click drag. Then you can have this piece here. That's how you use this tool. Hey friend, we'll get back to the episode real quick. If you're enjoying this video, I just want you to know I made pad system hotkey list. Using shortcuts while you're working with pad will improve your work speed and efficiency. Head over to my website patternstudio101.com and download my pad system hotkey list. It's free. Okay, cut with angle tool. So if you need to cut the piece on the marker, you can use this tool. So for example, select the tool, cut with angle, and you click the piece and hold down the piece. Do not release right away. You click and hold down the piece. You see this line. So this is your cutting line where you want to cut. And if you press number five, the angle of the cutting line is changing. You can move this mouse, the location and angle at the same time. So once you find where you want to cut, let's say I want to cut on this shoulder point. The line is on the shoulder point and it asks seam allowance. So let's say seam allowance is two centimeter. Click OK. Then the piece is cut and have seam allowance. When you move this, you see the sleeve piece is separated. Because we cut this shoulder point, you see here the seam allowance is added. So this is two centimeter and this is two centimeter. This is the function of this tool. But I've never used this tool. If I need to cut the piece, I go back to pattern design program and cut the piece, add a seam allowance there, not on the marker program. But at least you know how to use this tool. Okay, let's say you want to have 
three centimeter all the way around with this pattern. So you have space, three centimeter. Now you know the distance between these two pieces is three centimeter. But let's say for some reason you want to keep this 3 cm all the way around this piece, but you need a bigger space between those two pieces. Let's just say you need that. Then you select this Edit Blocking Contour, click the piece, then you see all this point. You can move this point to have bigger space between those two pieces. Then you have more space between these two pieces. You cannot overlap. I don't really remember the situation that I need these kind of things, but if you need, you know you can make this. This is the tool, Edit Blocking Contour. Okay, fill a hole. This tool allows you to fill the space, empty space, with leftover pattern pieces. So for example, so if you already placed some bigger pieces on the working area, on the marker area, you have back body, front body, and sleeve, but you still have some small pieces, colors, cuff, things like that, right? Of course, you can place the one by one where you want to place, but if you select this tool, fill a hole, and you make a rectangle by dragging the mouse like this, so this area is kind of space. Then it automatically puts some pieces in this area, but it is just random. And you see there is still have some leftover anyways. This is really random and the placement is not what I want. So I don't normally use this tool, but you have some ideas now. Select the tool, fill a hole, and you make a rectangle by dragging then the computer will fill this space with just random pieces. Okay, T, text. You just click anywhere work area and make a note. So for example, you have all the colors here and group them and make a block, three centimeter. Let's make this rectangular. Then you want to make text here, block views. It's just an example. Then when you print marker, the color will see it says block views. Whatever you need to have note, you can use this text tool. It can be just on the marker like this, or it can be specific pattern pieces. But basically we have all the information on the pattern. So this note will be something specific for the marker. Again, I don't use this a lot because I don't want to make the color confused. Everything should be clear on the tag pack and piece information. So I don't want to have a separate note on the marker. But you might be in some kind of specific situation that you need to have a note on the marker. Then you can use this text tool. Ruler, you can measure. So you, you click the first point and drag the second point. Then it shows the measurement. You click the first point. Click the second point, then you measure this distance, X and Y, and this angle. This is not super accurate. So if I need to measure the pattern, I go back to pattern design program to measure. But it can give you just rough idea. Lastly, this one, convert notch. If you need to change the type of notch, you can use this. But again, if I need to change the notch, I go back to pattern design program and change the notch there. That's normally how I work. But if you want to change the notch here, then you can do this. So you can change all type of notch or just specific one. So for example, you select the tool, convert notch and click any of notch on this marker. Let's say click this one, double notch. And then you see this little circle and go to treatment, notch conversion. And let's go with this on selected notches. So selected notches is double notch. So I'm going to make this double notch to V notch, for example, and click OK. And you see this changed to the V notch. For any reason, if you have to change the type of notch here on the marker, you can use this tool. There are many pattern making software options 
available. And learning how to use some of them can significantly enhance your career. I offer an online course that teaches you the PAD system. You only need 10 hours to master it. Visit my website patternstudio101.com and sign up. Have a beautiful week. See you next time. If you love my videos, why don't you join my email list? I'll send you Armal Depth Chart, Dart Calculator for Skirt and Pants, How to Measure Guide, and much more resources as a welcoming gift. And you will get my weekly emails with great tips and techniques about pattern making. Go to my website patternstudio101.com and sign up. Thank you.